The closet door is open, the closet door is open. Hey guys, Omar here, and are you tired of holding your camera like this, or like this, or maybe sometimes like this? <gasps> well, we've got a solution for you. The Peak Design, ca this by the way is not a commercial, I bought this with my own money. I'm checking out the Capture Camera Clip from Peak Design, and this thing was 70 bucks, so I'm opening it now with you. And I think my real question, is it worth 70 bucks? And I was super interested in this because I was in Banff, Canada, beautiful landscapes, and I was going with my normal way of carrying my gear, which is this bag on the side, and everything was fine and dandy until I saw an awesome hiker just hiking up with his camera on the Peak Design clip. So I was a little jealous. So let's try it today. Let's see if it really is worth $69. Ugh. Now, with that said, there's some cheaper options. I've gotten these little belt clips uh, on Amazon. This one's called the Mab Maboto. <laughs> I'll link some of them below, but they're okay. I mean, they're a lot cheaper, but they come with these ungodly plates. Look at this thing. Anyway, let's take a look at it. Nice packaging here. So, oh, you don't have to unbox at all. Look at that. What a great unboxing. Okay, now you can take your camera everywhere. Look at the size of that DSLR. We need to try this. That can't be comfortable. Okay, there's instructions inside as well. And let's see. Oh, there's a little carrying case. That's nice. What's inside this guy? There is bolts. Little multi-tool. Is there anything else in here? Oh, there's like a piece of paper or a sticker. Sticker. Branding. And the back is connected. Kind of like the toys we used to have. God, I can't. Please, with the packaging, make it easier. Okay, it's definitely well made. Full metal jacket right there. And just by looking at it, it looks like it's got a little clippy clip system here. Push, no, this way. Push, no, this way. Slide, oh, oh. Okay, so this goes on your camera and you will, this goes on your cool backpack that all the cool kids are using and you'll just slip the camera in there and it's locked in. And then when you need to take off your camera, you just push this little button. Nice design, nice and smooth. Let's see how it actually feels because right now in this position, it's not super uh, easy to do. Let's check it out. Okay, some features of the plate. Uh, there's a universal uh, quarter inch screw for your camera. There's four way entry. That sounds totally dirty. It's uh, unidirectional, so you can kind of put the plate in any direction. That sounds cool. Okay, so the clip opens up on one side. If you, uh, I guess I'll screw in the right side, unscrew the left side. Great, so you can put it on a bag like this. And if you want a more secure uh, connection, it seems like it comes with these little hex bolts. If you permanently want to put the clip on the bag uh, or a belt forever. For now, I'll just be using these little hand ties until the camera falls. All right, so let's try a backpack first. See how quick and easy it is. Put it on the strap. Okay, slightly annoying is that you can't use a coin to tighten the plate. That's one of my pet peeves is you don't always have a hex bolt around, but you always have a quarter or you always have something that can a screwdriver. But here we need the stupid hex. Oh, Arr! okay, got it. It would have been nice to see a coin adjustable little plate thingamabub. All right, let's try it. Peak design test number one. Okay, I have it too high. So uh, if you have a padded backpack, you just um, it just takes a little bit more work to put it on but it does go on and it, I could tighten a little bit more, but let's see how it feels with the Fuji X-T2 there. And we got a little pancake lens on. Oh, oh. feels kind of weird. Totally not used to it. It's totally hanging down on the strap. <laughs> That's weird, the camera's hanging down. Maybe we need a, a bigger lens. Makes no sense, I guess, with a pancake lens to use this peak design. So we're gonna put it in here. Come on, come on. This is the struggle with something new. You know, all the stuff will get better as you use it more and more. This is the first time I'm using it. So it's not a review. Oh, did it clip? I'd be a little scared. I would definitely check first to make sure everything's clipped. But, um, 
Oh my God, this is the lightest camera that I'm testing. And I don't think I'm a fan of having this right on my backpack strap. Uh, you know what? It should be on the other side, right? It should be on this side because, oh man, I'm such an idiot. $70, $70. I still don't know if it's worth $70. Okay, it's on this side. This may be better for location. Okay, that feels a little better on that side. And when you want to take it out, the button is inside. Maybe you use your thumb. Help me guys in the comments. <laughs> uh, is it a two-handed release or a one-handed release? Okay, so there you go. You're, I need to watch some videos on this. So here we go with the Canon 5D Mark IV clipped in and it has a 17 to 40 millimeter lens on there and I don't like it on a backpack. Maybe if the backpack had a lot more stuff in it. I have an empty backpack, but let's see if I get good at it. Okay. Ooh, there's a bird. Ooh. <laughs> I can't release it fast enough. I guess it takes some muscle memory. So I may have it on the wrong side anyway. It may not be this side because the button, I have to reach around uh, and I'm a spaz. So I'm sure I will figure it out. I'm getting used to it. Getting used to it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, bird. Oh yeah. Come on. Okay, here we go. All right, we're hiking, we're hiking bird. Ah, you like? All right, so it's a muscle memory thing. You get really good at clipping your camera back in there. Oh, oh. <laughs> a DSLR though, man. Oh, this is why I don't bring these on vacation anymore. So I wouldn't want to hike with this beast. The, let's try the Sony here. Hello, I thought you were full directional. All right, so the Sony doesn't work because it has an extra little grip on there. I guess I have to take that little grip off uh, because it bumps into the button. So that's a little bit of a negative. I do like the extra grip on the Sony a7 III, so that's not gonna work. So let's try a camera on the belt. Okay, a little belt action here. So the um, instructions say to put the button on the top for releasing. And let's try that. Okay, so this I like better than the backpack. This actually is a belt, feels more comfortable. And button on the top, you can slide the camera out. And now you're sliding it sideways. So you could be like, bird! So I kind of like that really well made it seems like it's titanium steel adamantium vibranium so i like that and uh so i think that's the thing with peak design is they stuff is really really quality everything seems to be like 10 to 15 percent more expensive than you want to spend though uh but they are have a great following and they um make some great products so this feels kind of good i feel like the dslr let's let's try um Let's try the other cameras. You see that there, Peak Design? See that? Watch, watch. With a little quarter. Hmm. By the way, I always keep on my keys this little metal piece here uh, that lets you take things off quick. All right, let's try with the Sony A7. Let's take these straps off. The straps on all my cameras are from Optech USA. I always like taking off the straps like that. I also like that if I want a wrist strap on my cameras, I could just go like that uh, so that's optech usa for my fuji stuff i have like the smaller versions of that but i also have adapters where if i want to use the better wrist strap the thicker wrist strap this one i could also switch them out so i like the i also love this i mean i grew up with you know that sort of clippy clip okay so we have on the sony a7 III oh that feels good let's see with button slide off Clip, nice and easy. Oh, that one wasn't easy. Clip, nice and easy. So I have the camera with the lens facing down, but on, in the instructions, they say you can flip the camera since it's four-way directional. They say that lens changes are easier. Let's see if that's true. Here, you can just take this lens off and expose your sensor to the wind. And then uh, I guess put the 
That's kind of cool. I guess you can change lenses. Okay, not sponsored by, just bought it on my own, the Capture Camera Clip. First of all, is it worth $70? Well, seeing that I already spent uh, 30, 40 bucks on inferior products, then I would say yes. If you're only getting one clip, then the Peak Design is worth for its construction and it's well designed. It's really, once you get used to the motion, um, it's easy to clip on and clip off. I like the belt, using it on the belt better than the backpack. But I think um, just design wise, they recommend that you use it on the left side, but the button is kind of, so I don't know if if there's a better, you know, one-handed unclick motion. Um, I would have liked to see the button on the other side so that you can kind of push on this side and bring up the camera instead of having to reach under and pull. That's the only complaint I have, it's no biggie. All this stuff is muscle memory and as soon as you use a product for a long time, it becomes second nature. Uh, but nice, Peak Design, a new way to carry your camera. All right, I'll see you guys next time.